Mm -hmm. Around this time of year, I tend to feel this sense of urgency to get as much done as I can, to check off as many boxes as quickly as possible. And my theory is that it's because I'm subconsciously trying to make up for the goals that I didn't achieve in 2022. So I thought, what better way to fight against that pattern than by having a slow day at the pottery studio and bring you along with me to hopefully send you all the peaceful, slow, calm vibes to kick off the new year if you're feeling the same way. Today, I'm throwing on the wheel and I've been slowly increasing the weight of the clay I work with each time because I really wanna be able to make planters and vases for our home. For this session, I'm shooting for just over two pounds. that I have for 2023 is to further prove to my subconscious that there's no finish line I need to race towards. I want to believe that I'm not wasting time having slow days like this alongside productive and busy days. That there's no guilt or shame in taking time for myself to just exist in the here and now doing things with no expectation of getting ahead or taking off a box. The perfect slow day for me right now is this. It's going to the pottery studio. It feels like that trending reels sound where there's an overlap of voices and as soon as the person puts their paintbrush to the canvas or starts doing whatever brings them joy, the voices stop. Throwing on the wheel helps me drown out the overwhelming anxious thoughts and focus more on the present moment. Since the vase I just made was a bit wobbly, I'm going to try throwing the same weight again just to see if I can improve my pulling technique. I feel like pottery brings so many impactful lessons that relate so well to life. Like for instance, there's so much patience that's required for ceramics. If you flinch or move too quickly, you can easily knock your clay off center, making it wobbly or causing damage that makes you have to start over entirely. But even those mistakes aren't a waste of time or resources because you experience the limitations of the clay and the clay can always be recycled and re-wedged to throw again another day. There's no need to be afraid of making mistakes and the same could be said about life. 
Also, with there being so many ways to make mistakes with pottery, you learn how to not be too attached to your expectations. You learn how to let things go a little bit easier, and I just love that. It's reinforcing lessons that are healing the perfectionist within me. At this point, it's been a couple of hours and I have just enough time to throw one more thing before I have to get back home to Izzy. So I'm going to try throwing a mug and I believe that I'm using one pound of clay here. Okay, so maybe I won't be making a mug today, but I've had this idea to make a little raw edge jewelry bowl. So we're just going to make some lemonade out of this lemon. biggest thing is like I don't want to be in the way of anybody else. You're cute. You're so sweet. Thank you. Yeah, I do. Yeah. this video was a little escape for you and thank you for being here with me. I can't wait to spend more time with you in the next one. Bye!